After a welcoming ceremony and military issue, participants of the Army Contracting Command's Joint Contracting Readiness Exercise 2013 at Fort Bliss, Texas, were ready to commence training. First-time participant Mary Beth Lanfor explains why she sought out this unique training opportunity. The thing I was most excited about coming to JCRX was for the whole experience of working alongside the military and getting a different perspective on contracting. Um, at Rock Island I do reach back contracting so I have a lot of contracts over in Iraq and Afghanistan and I thought it would be interesting to work with the soldiers here and a lot of who have already deployed um, and get their perspective and work along my teammates. Sergeant First Class Brandon Gerald adds that the lessons learned here will benefit the trainees during their deployment. The skills that I learned to exercise when I went was, were invaluable to me. I learned how to deal with the customer. I'm glad I was able to make the mistake at the exercise and was able to take that that mistake, learn from it, and then do the right thing when I was deployed. It really taught me how to deal with certain aspects that I didn't think would arise from dealing with an irate customer, dealing with a sergeant major who needs his products. These are things that are going to happen down range. Not only do we do acquisition actions, we also do war attached training. The basic total soldier concept it ranges from medical, medical training, to, we to weapons training, and also to vehicle convoy simulations. And these are actually tools that you also need when you go down range. We still need these valuable tools because you may never know when you're going to be put in that situation where you may have to, ren you may have to render aid to another buddy. So not only are we 51 Charles, we are still soldiers first. Reporting from Fort Bliss, Texas, I'm David San Miguel. Army Contracting Command.